I want to chat a little bit about the MVP conversation. It has been a while since we've done this. I think that you and I are in a little bit of consensus about who the MVP of the league has been through the first 13 weeks. When you did your second edition of the 30s, you said that Patrick Mahomes was the MVP. I tended to agree with you. If you look at the numbers, you know they're the most efficient passing offense in the league. They're the most efficient offense in the league. They still lead the NFL in most of the most most of the important offensive categories: advanced box score, anything, and. He's doing this when they purposely took a step back with their offensive personnel, when they lost Tyree kill and they kind of said, all right, we're going to put all this on you. What can you do? He's still been the best quarterback in football. And I think that for those reasons, that's why he was the MVP to me. And he probably still is, but I want to talk about what an MVP argument for J- for Jalen hurts might look like. Okay, Mahomes is still the MVP betting favorite coming into this game. Mm-hmm. He throws three picks today. I have to assume that there's going to be at least a narrative groundswell about Jalen Hurts this week. I see it. I see it forming. <laughs> I mean, it's it's already coming. So yeah. here's my argument about if I'm going to make an argument for why Jalen Hurts is the MVP. He, I'm, here's how I would lay it out. Okay, I understand that if you put Patrick Mahomes in the Eagles offense with the Eagles supporting cast, which is part of my argument that they it would be absolute fireworks all the time. It would be electric. They're the best offensive line in the league. They have a fantastic running game. They have amazing weapons. We see how often those guys just dunk on people left and right. But I also think that it's not that easy. It's not as simple as that because yeah. what makes the Eagles so scary this season is that no matter what you do, they have an answer for it. We've yes. seen that week in and week out. Last week against Tennessee, they're like, fine, we're not, we don't care. We're not going to run the ball because you can't stop us throwing the ball. And they just rain down on you for four quarters. The week before that, they played the Packers and they just ran all over them for four quarters because they could. And I think that Jalen Hurts is integral to being able to do that. The fact that he is a centerpiece of their running game and a centerpiece, obviously, of their passing game, I think their ability to have answers to everything doesn't come nearly as easily if they don't have Jalen Hurts. And I think that today was another really good example. I mean, he's making three or four really impressive throws on third down. The third and sixth completion with 8.05 in the first quarter is a beautiful ball to Devontae Smith. Third and three completion against the Bliss to Quest Watkins early in the game. Third and sixth scramble on the same drive. Fourth and seven, that completion on the slot fade to Devontae Smith is a really well-placed ball down the sideline. So it's just... I understand that the scopes and players are great. I understand that the help is great, but he's making four or five throws a game at this point that are him making plays. And when you combine that with the rushing, I I was blown away by some of these numbers right now. He has 35 total rushing EPA. No one else in the league is over 19 that has more than 25 carries. That's twice as much as almost any other runner in the NFL. Some of that is driven by the sneaks and like the touchdowns. So if you take out rushes with two or few yards to go, so not sneaks, he's still at 22. He still leads the NFL. He is still first in EPA per rush among all players with at least 50 carries. And then he's seventh in EPA per drop back. And then the Eagles are the best offense in the NFC and the second best offense in any metric you want to look at points Mm -hmm. per drive, touchdowns per drive, red zone efficiency, set of downs that produce a first down. They're second in every single one of those to the chiefs. So the fact that he gives them that flexibility and he's kind of at the center of that flexibility, that's how I would make that argument. Yeah, I. it's so hard for me because I'm just like, you, you've you laid out all my Mahomes portions of this, but I just want to take a second before I just list off a, mach, a machine gun, a Gatling gun of uh, Mahomes stats is Hertz has improved this year in ways that I I was a glass half empty about him in the sense that he is operating from the pocket. That third and three example of Quez Watkins is perfect. Is yeah. two guys staring down the barrel. Uh, Giants brought a cover zero, and he hits that route on time. Because if he's late on that, that's an incomplete an incomplete pass. And that's like, okay, that is the progress I want to see. He has 83 design rushes. Like, the leads all quarterbacks. It's, it's, it's absurd. I'm glad he listed the EPA and stuff. That The QB sneak with him, why they're able to do it is because he's a weapon. When you yeah. watch him as a runner... And he's such a different type of runner than the other type of really good running quarterbacks, so Josh Allen's and the Lamars and everything, is that he is just so strong and he has solid vision. 
He gets north and he can just bounce off the first ta- or first tackler over and over and over and over. But the thing is, and the other thing that I'll give one last stat that really speaks for Hertz is you look at EPA per drop back. Mahomes blows everybody out of the water, right? Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But if you look at e- EPA per play, including all the runs and everything, then Hertz is third. And that really speaks Who's to second to a to a to a going into tonight. So yeah. we'll see what he is after. But it's it was Mahomes, Tua, and then Hertz and Dak Prescott. So I'm, of course I want to list that set off. Uh, get, get Dak get, a, get him a little love in there. Yeah, you're but, nothing but consistent. I know. I I know, but I'm just not gonna not, the shiny toy, I'm not gonna go for it. But I'm gonna go for this is Mahomes. This is why Mahomes is to me the MVP. And I don't want to knock anything that Hertz has done. He I think if I did offensive player of the year right now, like it, it's like Tyreek and Hertz. Like, I, honestly, like I would be willing to vote for a quarterback. Usually I think that's a non-quarterback award, but I think Mahomes is MVP. The EPA per drop back 0.3. It's the third best since 2018. It's the fifth best since 2012 with quarterbacks of 500 more attempts. The other ones, the top five, 2013 Peyton Manning, 2014 Aaron Rodgers, 2019 Lamar, 2018 Mahomes. And he's tied with 2016 Matt Ryan. His scramble EPA this year, total. He's fourth. Hertz is third. Just total EPA yeah. to generate around scramble. Sack percentage. Mahomes is third. Hertz is 23rd. Pass success rate. Mahomes is first. Hertz is 11th. True dropbacks. So this is no play action, no screens. Chiefs do do a lot, a decent amount of it. He's about league average, Mahomes. 67% of his, are, are, of his pass plays are true dropbacks. Hertz is 29th. Just about half of his passes, passing plays are non play action, non screens. And you already listed off that all the other metrics, the team metrics is all this and it's i just don't want to discredit what hertz is doing but what mahomes is doing is like it, it, we talk about exceptional and this is the true star stuff this is not a down year this is a top top year for any quarterback in recent memory and that's how we should look at it that he could throw three interceptions and still have a qbr of 68 today he threw for- in a positive epa today even though he positive- had three interceptions his positive. epa per drop back today is what hertz's is on the entire season 0.08 and he had three interceptions today and that just, I mean, just the, the t- touchdown of McKinnon where he's just hookshotting it, like the runaround touchdown that he had later, it, it's unbelievable what this guy does. And it's just the classic alien test or the classic, someone that's never watched football, you take him out there, who's the best player? And mm-hmm. everyone would just go, number 15. And, uh, it's just, he is just that special. I, I That's true. And I understand <laughs> that. And, but then the, and obviously the what he does is spectacular and the touchdown today is a perfect example and the drop back numbers are there. But w- what makes the Hertz case interesting to me is about how important he is to the overall system and structure to what the Eagles do. Yeah. And even like Miles Sanders is second in the NFL in total rushing EPA. If you look at those numbers from it is Miles Sanders that efficient of a runner. If Jalen hurts is not there. And I think that those are sort of the layers of the conversation that I found that I find interesting. I still think gun to my head, I'm picking Patrick Mahomes, but I think that there's going to be a building momentum for Jalen hurts as the Eagles continue to do this. And I'm trying to just put myself in that position and think about what that might look like. And in my mind, the, key parts to that argument and what it looks like is the fact that it's the rushing and the passing and it's not just his rushing like yeah. his how central he is to their ability to have this fluency and this flexibility on offense that's at the core of it for me mm-hmm. so even if i'm still picking mahomes I, I feel better about what those jalen hurts arguments might look like as they're going to start popping up more and more here mm-hmm. 